Welcome everyone, my name's Alie and today we're getting excited guys because in less than a week's time, E3 2017, the biggest gaming event of the year is kicking off and we're going to be shown for the very first time brand new games, trailers, streams, gameplay, all of that stuff and I'm here to get excited with you guys and share with you the top 5 games that I'm excited for for E3 2017. If there's any games that's not on this list, any games are on this list that you're really excited for as well, leave them down below in the comment section and let me know which part you're really, really excited for. I'll be heading out to LA in a week's time to go and attend E3, which is very, very exciting. It kicks off next week on Tuesday the 13th of June all the way to Friday the 16th of June. And prior to this year, it's never been available for the public to come along and attend. However, this year, for the very first time, public tickets were available, so it's going to be an absolutely crazy, crazy event and I cannot wait for it. Just for those of you guys that aren't aware, E3 stands for the Electronic Entertainment Expo. It happens every year around June time in LA and every single year we get early Call of Duty gameplay but it's not just Call of Duty, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, loads of developers and publishers all come to show off their brand new games. Normally a lot of it is announcements, trailers and less so hands on. Um, however, I sometimes get a chance to jump on behind the scenes and play a lot of the games and get early gameplay for you which is very exciting and fingers crossed I can do that again this year. Basically all you need to know is that next week is going to be a huge week for gaming and it's time to get excited. I'm also very excited to announce that a few days leading up to E3, so on June the 11th and 12th which is the Sunday and Monday, there's going to be a YouTube E3 stream where everyone will be discussing all the announcements, all the reveals etc regarding E3 and I'm going to be on that stream one of those days, I don't actually know exactly when it is yet but I will be on the stream for one of those days and I'll let you guys know exactly when that is. I'll leave links down below in the description. I'll tweet you guys. Don't worry. Keep you updated. So very excited to be a part of that. So keep an eye out for me. So you guys know exactly what's happening now. You're excited. You're ready to go. But which five games am I most excited for? These aren't really in a particular order. But the games span from all consoles, all genres, all, all developers really. So there's going to be a great mixture of lists here. So let's kick it off with our first game. We have Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm sure you guys saw loads of this game when Star Wars Battlefront 1 released in 2015. It was almost like a relaunch of the game that you guys may have played years and years ago on your old PlayStation consoles. It did really, really well. I played a lot of it here on my channel, uh, but it only focused around multiplayer. There was no campaign involved at all. However, they've announced that for a sequel for Star Wars Battlefront 2, there will be a single player campaign this time alongside multiplayer, which I'm sure has gone a load of you guys really really excited. Now announced only in the last few days, Electronic Arts, EA, the guys that are publishing the game, have announced that for E3, they will be showing off on their live stream a 20 versus 20, so a 40 player multiplayer game called Assault on Feed, where clone troopers will mount a desperate defense against the invading forces of the Separatist battle droids, basically creating a huge epic, epic battle, which will be an unreal way to see the game in action for one of the first official times. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So all of this will be streamed through EA's play event, and it's probably quite hard to keep your, like, head on top of what's going on during E3 because it is a crazy mess of announcements and stuff going on. But I know that I will definitely be attending EA Play, which will be very, very exciting. I may be able to get early footage for you guys as well to share here on the channel. So look forward to that as well. I'll keep you guys updated with all of this stuff through all my social, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So when anything is happening, I'll let you guys know so you do not miss it. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is set to release this November, so 2017. There's rumors going around potentially of a beta and similar to Call of Duty, pre-order Star Wars Battlefront 2, you'll be able to get access to that early beta. I'm sure we'll get more details on that during E3 and the big live stream they're having for the game, so keep an ear out for that because it's always great to get hands on with the game pre-release. Just get an idea of how it feels and hopefully there'll be loads of improvements upon the original game as well. As someone that really enjoyed the original Star Wars Battlefront when it came out a few years ago, I'm hoping that they increase the amount of weaponry that's available, basically expand upon the multiple 
player as much as possible and give it a little bit more of a progressional system so it just doesn't feel like battle after battle after battle with a lot of repetition with not too much reason to rank up. I want unlockables, I want maybe cool skins and things that make me feel like as a player that plays the game a lot, I'm really rewarded in game and I can visually show that off to everyone else that's playing. I think that's always really important in a video game and definitely for Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well. Next up, a game that I am so excited for, I am a huge Nintendo fanboy. It is Super Mario Odyssey. So far, we've only had a short trailer and a little bit of gameplay when the Nintendo Switch was first announced, Nintendo's brand new console. And there will be a ton of coverage of this brand new Mario game at E3 this year from the guys over at Nintendo. It's based in a world called New Donk City, which is pretty much a Mario replica of New York City, a place that I absolutely adore. And the game features a lot of free running, a lot of parkouring, and a ton of new movement features to allow you to get around this crazy world. And is already set to be, obviously, a huge, huge open world Mario video game that I cannot wait to get my hands on. And my Nintendo Switch is just begging for a brand new game to give me a reason to pick it up and play even more. At the moment there's no official release date but it seems like it's going to be a late 2017 release could be November time again which would be a busy release period that'd be Call of Duty Battlefront and Super Mario Odyssey so far so keep an ear and an eye out for that because I'm sure we'll get an official release date during E3 next week. One of the big things that this game seems to be focused on is actually Mario's hat. Not only can he take it off and use it as a boomerang, as a way to get around, as a way to attack people but it also seems to have its own eyes and be its own character in this game which I'm sure will be expected even more when we get to see more of this game but so far that seems to be the cool little twist of this game and I'm sure you're gonna have to learn how to use your hat in effective ways to get past bosses complete levels and do as well as possible in Super Mario Odyssey. Now as I'm sure you can see the game looks absolutely stunning and as much as I love my Nintendo Switch its launch lineup of games was fairly weak obviously Zelda's amazing Mario Kart was just the same as the one on the Mario Kart Wii U but with battle mode so to have this game coming out soon is a great great reason to either pick up a switch or get back on your Nintendo switch and for me I played a lot of Super Mario Sunshine back on the GameCube I played a lot of Super Mario 64 but the DS version when that relaunched on Nintendo DS these huge open world Mario games are so much fun you can sink so much time into it and if you're a Nintendo fan or even not a Nintendo fan I'm sure you want to see more of this game and E3 is when it's going to be happening I cannot wait next up this is not a surprise at all and I could have really started with this. It's Call of Duty World War 2. Just to give you guys an idea of what normally happens at E3 each year for Call of Duty, normally we get a big campaign reveal where we get to see a whole mission being played through. However, this year they are pushing everything forwards and actually revealing multiplayer at E3 a lot earlier than normal. And fingers crossed I can get hands on, get gameplay for you guys as early as next week when E3 happens, meaning we can see the game in action in multiplayer for the very first time. It is so, so exciting. Exciting. We've only seen multiplayer this early before for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. For every other Call of Duty game, as I said, it's campaign normally. But one thing that I'm sure will be kept under wraps still will be the Zombies game mode, which has been confirmed as a third game mode for Call of Duty World War 2. But definitely expect more on that far closer to the release time. We're talking like August, September, like a few months before release. However, because multiplayer has been shown very, very early, it's exciting, but also means that we are going to be getting into the beta very soon as well. Well, there was a beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it's become commonplace now and if you pre-order Call of Duty World War 2 you can get access to it. There's no official date as to when the beta will kick off, it was around August time for the last few years, we expect it around a similar time this year which is very exciting but it means that if you're not at E3 and you don't get a chance to get hands on it, you can just literally sit at home and as long as you pre-ordered the game everyone will be getting hands on with Call of Duty World War 2 pre-release which is very exciting and can give us a great idea of what the game's going to be like but focusing back on E3 and not just the beta we are going to be seeing the guns in action, maps in action, weapons in action, perhaps even vehicles have been talked about, tanks, planes etc and it's going to give us an amazing idea as to what Sledgehammer games are going to be doing with this multiplayer experience. They innovated Call of Duty with exo jumps and tons of new movement features within Advanced Warfare for their first ever Call of Duty games. We know they are not scared to do new things and I, I'm sure even though th this is a World War 2 game we've got a classic setting they're going down that realistic route they're going to be trying new things that we have not seen before in 
Call of Duty to keep it fresh and also keep boots on the ground as they've promised will happen, as you'd expect, obviously, within a World War II Call of Duty game. It's a time period people have been asking for for years and years now. It is setting up to be absolutely huge. And as I said, keep an eye here on the channel for early information, gameplay, and all the announcements as soon as they happen for this game because you know I am so excited. And actually, I have a hat signed by all the guys from Sledgehammer Games saying Call of Duty World War II right here on my desk. So the guys at Sledgehammer Games are such nice people. I cannot wait to see more. Just one week to go, guys. Stay tuned here because it's going to be absolutely crazy. Next up, we have a game that's just had its reveal trailer go live and it's got me very, very excited and it is Need for Speed Payback. I'm a huge fan of racing games. Need for Speed specifically, I have always loved. I think my favorite one is probably Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let me know down below which is your favorite Need for Speed because I know all of you guys have played the game at least once before. Need for Speed Payback actually sees three main characters Characters, Tyler, Mac, and Jess, all of them coming together as a trio up against the house, which is a cartel that controls everything in the city of Fortune Valley, which is where the game is based, including the cops and casinos. The game looks like a cinematic movie where you're controlling everything going on, basically the video game version of Fast and Furious, which is always absolutely action-packed and completely, completely crazy. And EA have said there's going to be a renewed focus specifically on car customization that will let players truly craft and personalize a unique ride. You can turn anything from an old banger all the way into a supercar. I think that's a little bit of a long, long stretch turning a banger into a supercar, but hey, if you can do it, that is absolutely crazy. And for me, I think sitting down and customizing not only the looks, but also the build of a car is so important and you get really attached to a car that you have made that started off as just an absolute piece of trash and has actually gotten through all of those missions, all of those levels and has stuck with you nice and strong. So car customization, crazy storyline, action packed, you know this game is going to be so much fun. And it's another game that will be available at the EA Play event that I told you guys that I'm also going to be going to and I'll be coming back with all of the good stuff, all of those gameplays for you guys. I cannot wait to get hands on with it so I'll let you guys know exactly how it feels and again this game is going to be coming out in the November 2017. I think that's every single game so far is November 2017. It's going to be a rough month for your wallets buying all of these games. But hey, you can't complain when this many amazing games are coming out all at once. And the final game on my list, remember this isn't really in any order, but a game that I am very excited for and you probably didn't expect, unless you've been watching my second channel for a few years, this is The Escapist 2, my friends. As soon as The Escapist was announced a few years ago when I was at Gamescom in Germany, I instantly fell in love with the pixel graphic style and had so much fun playing through loads of the prisons over on my second channel, More Alley A. Escapist basically sees you as an inmate trying to work your way out of several different prisons, ranging in difficulty, crafting and battling other inmates to eventually make a flawless escape where no one catches you and you get out of the prison and you are a free man. Escapist 2 looks to add in additional buildables, brand new prisons, brand new ways to interact with all of your inmates and the police officers of course where if they catch you they will beat you up and throw you into one of those lock cells and you'll be trapped in there for many many days. They'll get rid of all your contraband. It is never good news and the game is set to come out on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and maybe even Nintendo Switch as well. However there is one big new addition and that is multiplayer with drop in drop out split screen online co-op experiences and even versus modes this really is the biggest part of the game in terms of new features it means you can play with your friends before obviously it was a solo experience and honestly a tough solo experience which needed you to be paying attention know the craftable list i know whenever i played the game i had a whole monitor dedicated just to everything you can make in the game to make sure i could make it and get all the right items but it was so much fun and i cannot wait to play this next game it'll be featured at e3 we get to see a little bit more of it which is so exciting and if there's any new gameplay i cannot wait to see it and if it's a game you've never played before maybe go and check out the videos of my second channel just take it take a look because honestly i think you'll fall in love with it and it is a very cute very very easy to watch and play game so guys i think that is going to wrap it up that has been five games i'm really looking forward to next week at e3 fingers crossed all of them i get hands on time with and i'll try and get as much gameplay for all of these games as possible as well and as i said if there's any other games that you know are going to be available at e3 that you're excited 
Fighter 4 we haven't mentioned, discuss them down below in the comment section. Call of Duty World War 2 obviously being the biggest one for this channel. Multiplayer is going to be absolutely crazy. And I cannot wait to give you guys as many videos and information as possible as it all comes through and you get to play the game. Play the game in my hands. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And fingers crossed, it is everything we have been wanting. Boots on the ground, awesomeness. I cannot wait. As I said, remember, I'm going to be on the awesome YouTube E3 live stream either on the Sunday the 11th or Monday the 12th. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter, etc. So come and tune in come and watch me give my thoughts, opinions and chat with all of the guys at E3 that will also be on YouTube live stream. It will be very, very fun indeed. So guys, thank you for watching. All that there is now to do is to wait for the next week. It is going to be a long wait, but wait until next week, until E3 kicks off and we get to see all these games and more in action. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. I'll see you guys very soon with brand new videos and of course stay tuned right here for all of those games as I'll be covering them here on my channel. So thank you for watching guys. Get excited for E3 and I'll see you very soon on a brand new video.